So this video is for those wanting to run the OpenPilot dashboard virtual machine. So follow the link and do the download. So it's about 1.6 gig despite the same 1.5 and uh, yeah just follow the link, download it. It's going to say it's too big to scan, you don't have to worry about it, it's just a virtual machine. So save it to machine and then we'll extract it. And once it's extracted we just open up the folder and double click on the VMX file. It's your choice if you want to upgrade or downgrade. I've kept it as an older version so it would work for people that had a older licensed version of VMware. And as you see, the machine will just boot. It's already configured and set up exactly as you need. It's got two network interfaces. One, which is shared just with your host machine, which is the one you're going to be using for Grafana. And the other one, which is bridged to your network adapter, so that it talks directly to the Eon. I'm assuming that you're connecting to the Eon's hotspot while you're using this. So while this is loading, this is the software that you can download for free. VMware Player, it's free for non-commercial use. And if you're running OS X, you're going to have to run VMware Fusion, which is not free. But it does have, I think it's a 30 or maybe even a 60 day trial, which is enough for uh, basically anything you're going to be doing in regards to tuning unless you're going to be doing this a lot. And if you are doing it a lot then it's probably worth going through the effort of installing it directly on your machine. Uh, where is it? There it is Fusion for Mac. Now I've switched computers here but once you've launched the virtual machine this is what you got. Login using user as the username and password as the password, all lowercase. Once this is logged in, it'll present you with two use, uh, IP addresses. You can see the dot forty three, which is because it's connected to the Eons network. So I change directory in, directory into the OpenPilot dashboard, and then I run the ZMQ script. Now OpenPilot dashboard is a Git clone of the Gernby's of Gernby's open pilot dashboard git repo. So this is the latest when this machine was made. If you just do a git pull while you've got internet access, um, it'll update it if there's been any changes. So now we go and log into Grafana. So in the website or web browser, what I've done is gone to the IP address that we saw and we just log in. Now that we're in, we're going to go new dashboard, graph, and up the top we go edit and now we can go and um, start adding data. Now at this stage you can see there's nothing in there. That's because this is a brand new fresh machine with nothing in the database. So what we're going to do is go for a very short little drive. Now I'm going back to the virtual machine here so you can see the data come in. So you can see here I moved the vehicle and I had data coming in. I had the move, move vehicle and open pilot enabled. So now when we go back to the web browser, you'll see that I've actually got data in here. So what I'm going to do is just log three very common things to look at, which is the angle of the steering, the desired angle of the steering, which is what we wanted it to do, and then the last one is the amount of torque that is supposed to be going to the steering wheel. Now this isn't available on Gernby's branch, it is available on the Hyundai branch, so there is a little bit of a difference between them. Um, you can add whatever you want. It's actually very simple, but that's out of scope of this video. So what I'm going to do is make this show the last one minute of driving and have it reach, refresh every five seconds. And you can see that we've got no data in the last minute. So what I'm going to do is go back and make this graph nice and big and then I'm going to go for a little bit of a drive. So every five seconds while I'm driving we're going to see real-time data appearing here. So we'll skip the boring bit and actually get driving. And this is what we have. So you can see that there's three different lines. I didn't actually name these which I should have done. But either way we've got yellow which is the desired steer. Green which is the actual steering angle. And then we have blue which is the amount of Talk. Now this goes between 0 and 1. This isn't necessarily what goes to the vehicle because you might be doing other things in car controller. 
uh, but basically that's at least on the Hyundai branch you can guarantee that's what's going straight through. So that's 0 to 1. I could have done some maths on it and made it 0 to 10 which is generally what I do just to make it easier to look at. Now you see there's a gap in there. That's because this is real-time data. It's all time stamped. I disabled it and re-enabled it. Now you see here this is reasonably well tuned. I'm still very new on this branch and new on this tuning but you can see that the steering angle follows what we want it to be for the most part really well and you can also see that the torque going to the wheel isn't spiking and isn't erratic. It's all rather smooth. And this is going to be invaluable for you when you're trying to tune a vehicle. So this particular area I wanted to show you, this is an area where we had, uh, what was it, 20 degrees on the steering wheel? And we actually had a cap. We had the angle, the steering wheel angle flat line, and it flat lined well before we hit the amount of torque. And then because the error increased, Obviously, the torque hit its limit, but the torque hitting its limit had nothing to do with the angle of the steering coming to an end. So these are some of the things that you'll find some odd issues with the vehicle that you may may not be able to work around. And this is what I'm this is what I was actually looking for was to try and find some repeatability on this. And I'm going to start logging other things like your rate sensors that might be getting involved in capping our steering angle. But it's definitely not a torque issue. It's an artificial torque issue that we have. So good luck, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you uh, download the latest from Gurnby. He's the man that built all of this. All I've done is chucked into a dashboard and made this video to help you get along. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you later, guys.